Hey everyone, welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. I am Jess, this is Greg, we've got Lupe in the back there. And we are headed out on an off-road adventure. So if you're new to the channel, we just got this Chevy Colorado ZR2. And uh, we haven't really tested it out yet. Other than driving pretty quick on some gravel roads, which it does well. But yeah. we're gonna try and get the four-wheel drive engaged a little bit today. The last time we tried, it wasn't hard enough, <laughs> so we didn't have to use it. But uh, we're gonna go up on a new uh, forest road that we've never been on. I've been told that it's really bad by someone that uh, has a smaller truck. So we'll see how it does and see how bad it actually is. If you guys wanna support us, feel free to shop through our links in the description of this video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. We just got on to our Forest Service Road 661, which is an out and back. Um, that's what we we're told to check out for this excursion. So we don't know anything about it other than it's supposed to be hard. Someone Greg works with recommended it. So we'll see if it's. I think the thing that'll stop us is if it just gets too stupid narrow, and we're going to scratch all the paint. We're not ready to do that yet. <laughs> Pulling the tire. Everybody, let's take a quick second to talk about the sponsor for this video and let you know how to get a discount on their products. This video is sponsored by Epic Water Filters. They're out of Colorado. They have water filters that go in now jeans for when you're hiking, and they also have products to filter tap water at your house. Check out their website. We got a link below for them and use code Drifter Journey, all caps, to get 20% off your order. Where'd you go? Just look at it, see if there's anywhere to turn around. And? Not really. Um, yeah, way back there, you got some. Just get through this section first. Um, okay, cut it. So, hang on a sec. Can you see this rock behind you? To the so that was the one you drove over. So we're trying to line your right side up to that rock. Yep. Yeah, it looks good. It's so much easier. Good. Let him go when you know. Okay. That you got looks good. Because you say yep. All right, go slow. Easy. Okay, keep going. All right, you're off it. Good. Easy. Okay. Good. You're off it. Keep coming. All right. Your front's on it. Okay. You're clear.
chose this life, now it's choosing me. I'm gonna tell him what you're doing. I'm gonna try hill descent control. I don't know how to do it. Gap adjust. <laughs> so it's on. Yeah. Then I don't know how you set the speed limit for it. Hill it's set to one, okay. Oh, okay. Under sets of auto. Can I set it lower? Just doesn't look like it. Yes. The way to me. What'd you just do? Put back two on there. Well, that was short and quick. <laughs> so, leave in the comments, but is it weird of me to not want to just start smashing into things yet? Because <laughs> I 100% know we could drive up that all the way to the top. It's just uh, a little narrow. There's some trees that feel like they're going to get the paint. And we don't have the first ding yet. Yeah. So once we start smashing some stuff, it gets a little bit different. Do we know what this road was? No, That's not the I don't one we think were it's on. a road. I think it's a campsite. Oh. I guess we won't go up that one. But we did get it into some challenging spots. Uh, pretty much flexed it to capacity, right? We did. We Hold didn't. We didn't put the locker on though. We okay. Didn't. So we didn't need to. The computer figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Good first uh, four wheeling. I just wish they weren't so damn narrow here, these trails. We'll try to find another one and uh, a little go bit a little wider. further next time. I like to be able to turn around every once in a while. All right, so according to the map, 625 is not too far ahead on the right. Next, we'll show you Baja mode. Wow. Two wheel drive by, uh oh. Reducing stability will. Oh. Don't give me time to read. Faster. <laughs> right, because well, it wasn't important. It reduced stability, I think. But, with Baja mode, you can do it in two wheel drive or four wheel drive, and it just puts your RPM rates up higher and makes you slide out of control a little bit more. So he's keeping us revved up. And if you were like, bah, you get. It lets you slide slide around a little bit more. Keeps the RPMs up so you get power quicker when you want it. You can get around some corners, go through some puddles. So, you know, just lets you try to crash easier. Sorry, dog, I didn't have to want to hit that tree. I mean, we're breaking the tires loose at 35 miles an hour without any issues. And 
And we'll show it. Am I back at the beginning? We'll go back to normal mode to compare. Normal. So we still spin the tires. Keeping us at a lower end, that traction control is kicking on a lot more. Mm. It doesn't let you slide out as much. So that's Bahama. All right, guys, we made it back to town, and that's a wrap on our first off road video. I don't even know if I'd call it an off road video. But if you watched, we went off the road. <laughs> what would you call it? Uh, kind of a failure. Mm. We need to find some uh, more real trails, I think, rather than just neglected forest roads that don't get used other <laughs> than for side-by-sides to right. really test it. So stay tuned. We're definitely going to do some research and try to find more. Um, leave us a comment, question. Thanks for watching.